Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this video my weekly update for Casper Mining, my GPU mining farm. Little farm, I shouldn't call it farm, it's just little setup. Uh, residential setup that I have. So let's take a look at Casper first. The Casper hash rate going up very quickly now. As we can see it's been going uh, every month by a lot but this last month it was significant jump again with the bigger machine coming to the network before we seen that and uh, yeah and the percentage wise I don't know if we can even calculate that in percentage but it will increase uh, potentially more than uh, it used to be around one petahash here on this line uh, a little bit quicker was he'll double couple times there in the per month and we right there the last month we pretty much went like to 70 petahash just in one month which is close to 2.5 petahash a day um, anyways keep that in mind when you do your ROI calculation make sure you use that for proper number here if you do and you would like to purchase one of the A6 that been released here on the Ice River, but I do recommend you can order with uh, T Swift. This video not sponsored by any of these guys, but T Swift have as great prices. I will have link down in my description uh, regarding the contact for T Swift. So let's let's go back to Casper here. So I have. Uh, next block reward in just probably three days it's just two days here but i think it's on the six and it's gonna go to 104 slightly lower 103.8 uh according to emission schedule right so let's take a look what i have so i had uh, on my gpu so we we went through the casper mining so right there what did i mine on the casper right here um i did mine bagna coin with my k0 original so a week all my six miners doing at one tera hash uh 25 2.5 million bagna a week okay just crazy if you think about the amount of bagna you know if that would be same as casper Two years ago you could mine so many casper right anyways um uh, potentially but it's a three times more bagna coin than the casper coin uh eventual potential uh well when you mine entire uh casper and entire bagna because it's a hundred billion and casper 28 billion so it's even more than three times three and a half times difference right but think about it if it's three and a half time and at the beginning you can mine with that such a crazy hash rate power obviously you cannot do that with gpu but it would be insane you could mine a million a week of caspa with this hash rate uh with the 55 tera hash oh, i'm sorry with the one tera hash it's just only one tera hash with 55 tera hash i mine 100 millions just in five days uh that was a previous week i don't know if you've seen that video so go check it out anyways we're not gonna spend time there on bagna anymore i switched everything back to caspa i'm just gonna keep my k0 originals there uh running on that meme coin just to support that network a little bit i kind of like that meme coin um so what i did on solar is 206 caspas just on the solar only so it's all smoothly running on the solar 24 7. i don't have to use grid at all so let, let me show you guys right there my setup didn't kind of have that update for a little bit so um right there even right now it's the charging to already charged to almost 90 percent so it's going every day from 30 to 90 percent so i'm only using 60 percent of my battery capacity which is 10 kilowatt i could use more but i need a little bit more solar panels uh, maybe a couple more solar panels i'm not sure why i'm not getting the full amount because i have 2.4 so it should have two kilowatts uh well it's about right about 11 kilowatts 
total in five hours but with more with the more sun we get now in the summer should see this number going up a lot more so my guess is is just need slightly more than I can use potentially a uh, couple more KS0 that's what I was planning to do might get K0 Ultra and set up at 400 giga hash so it would make two of this machine would make like the same amount of three of my K0 overclocked with only 200 watts that's just crazy to think it's it's such a great efficiency I think for solar so I, I, I want to do that and set it up and run that on solar with a greater efficiency, okay? So let's see what else. So that's my solar mining and rest of my CASPA mining. You could see, you can pause and see how much CASPA I did every day. Don't count Monday because I switched that from Bagna and I didn't switch all of the ASICs at the same time. So potentially there are some of them mine CASPA so I was keep mining Bagna until I was uh, switched completely. I probably didn't switch this three later on in the day. So that's where we have here. But the next day everything was on Caspa. So from 1577 to it went to 1567. So about 10 Caspa less by the end of the week. And this obviously 1600 Caspa well. I had the KS3M going back to mine Casper again, so that's that's not actually accurate. So uh, yeah, you're probably looking to closer to here, 1577 to 1509. So about 60, probably Casper drop. I want to say that uh, around 40 to 60 Casper rewards for 55 tier hash. Uh, obviously because the network hash rate changed from 292 to 310 petahash just in one week, 18 petahash. So that's more than two petahash a day. That's 2.4 uh, roughly, right? Something like that. Or 2.3 petahash a day, but still it's, it's kind of high, right? Uh, so let's look at my Caspa May. The whole month of May was just finished on Friday, and I mined forty thousand Caspa with fifty-five terahash. Uh, well, to be honest, I did Bagna switch in here for five days, so it's five days was missing. So it's about eight thousand Caspa is missing here. It's roughly forty-nine thousand caspa if you mine in may for 55 tier hash you would mine 49 close to 49 uh thousand of caspa right and that's what the value in the dollar amount here 58 72 before power and i used 2000 for power and obviously this with the bagna 4574 is my dollar reward include those uh, bagna mining days uh, in here in this calculation so what else do i have gpu let's look at gpu that zealous zealous is the coin that i uh, switched after uh Pyrene went basically not profitable completely i was going to switch my rigs completely off and then Red Panda luckily came out with the video that the Xelis, Xelis showed up on the uh, here on the network uh, probably about three weeks ago, but kind of missed out first 10 days, which was really great in rewards, but it still looks really, really good for my farm, my little uh, 131 GPU or 139 GPU that I mined with and it's it, it was a pretty nice rewards even this last couple days it's lower but it still looks pretty good because of the zealous uh coin price went from 18 dollars to 33 it dropped now to about 24 24.99 it's almost 25 dollars but still higher than it was before it was at 15 to 18 dollars when it just started uh, on the mining so it still looks pretty much profitable there. So we can uh, mine and keep if you believe in Zealous or you can sell, you will get the profits there. I sold at $30 uh, most of it. I just mining for the last 
three days just waiting if the price gonna kind of stabilize anywhere between 25 and 30 dollars but we'll see we'll see how it works out i still think it's profitable so we could mine that uh not pgu not nexa i'm not mining any other coins right now so ethereum classic on my e9 pros two of these guys and one x 41 u doing 10.5 10.4 giga hash used to make one almost ethereum classic every day before right i had like uh one well 95 97 190 well the average was roughly 0 0.95 not 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 one one coin but 195 0 0.95 ethereum classic and now at the end of the week it's 0 0.73 so there is significant drop there in rewards and i believe there uh i don't know if there was uh, any happen yet uh on the mission schedule on ethereum classic need to check that i'm not even sure if it if it does has the mission schedule but the rewards dropped i believe the network cash rate went up also pretty uh significant about 20 percent so what else we have there uh again the ethereum classic here uh, been dropping there on my 3.3 gigahash x4 one u six of these guys and my just miners x16 q's two of these guys mining octa space with zilica and uh, they doing good they doing all right i think on the octa space so i'll keep it there i'll compare it to serum classic serum classic dropped the price dropped from 31 to 28 dollars so it was pretty cool to see going to $33, but it didn't hold up there. But I think still, think still the Ethereum Classic is, the value is still low there. It should be uh, potentially going to bull run a lot higher. So we'll see that. What else? Well, that's it. That's it for this mining update, I guess, uh, for the weekly mining. I, uh, you guys just check out uh, be very careful when you invest in in this asics because with this you could see now the, the hash rate how crazy it goes so make sure you calculate properly again for when you do go check it out red panda video on all of the calculations for roi and if you should invest in ks 5 ls ks 5 m or k0 ultra and see where you're gonna be with the roi projection on the uh, some speculation there so a lot of fun stuff go check his two live videos there's another video he posted so I'm not gonna repeat all that but do be very careful when you use this uh, Casper calculator make sure you use correct amount and again the ice river has this new monitor tool updated not ice river it's a T Swift uh, ice river monitor uh, by T Swift uh, development team devs uh, just did that update for potential overclocks is coming we don't know yet but uh, check it out his telegram uh, channel for the updates and you could see now all the temperatures which is nice to see the whole 64 chips there uh, we could have seen only on ks2 option and it was only showing uh, yeah ks2 only shows if you go there and check ks2 it was only showing 18 chips so you could not see all the chips right but now we have this ks5 l option which is really great and you can see all 64 chips listed in there with the high and low temperatures really nice and what i like actually about it they didn't have before this minimize button which is pow now it's super cool you can minimize uh, i was annoying you couldn't minimize so you have to keep on opening windows and then you can't even minimize this guy so now there is an option for it that's another upgrade i think really nice thank you guys all right well that's it for this video i hope you guys like it stay safe on mining and we'll see you on the next one